every day, late at night, not okay All I want, and I pray, all I need, are some better day So Seth, the first, the first culinary experience of our trip Yeah, this fabulous establishment, which is? I want, I want the Nando's Me a bag of yeah. So we were delayed I think a total of 2 hours and 50 minutes so we got a free drink and a free little snack on the airplane. But it was a long wait in the airport until around 10pm or 11pm when we finally took off. We arrived in Vienna at around 2 a.m. in the morning and it was thunderstorms <laughs> and rain. <laughs> Trying to catch. Oh my god! Oh my god, yeah. We arrived at the hotel and there was no one around. We had already told them that we would be late, so they left the keys in a lockbox outside. And it was deserted, so it was quite eerie, quite creepy. All the lights were kind of off around this area trying to find our room as well and we had seen this lift which I had never experienced before but is a very European lift very cool but also very old and creepy so wasn't very confident plus the fact it was half two in the morning And the rooms were quite old fashioned, it felt very Bram Stoker, Dracula vibes I would say. Saturday morning we were up quite early even though we were on very little sleep but we wanted to see as much of Vienna as we could and get as much time in the city as possible. Plus it was a very nice day, it was a little windy but it was really nice. And this little market was right near our hotel, which was really, really cute. So we walked through this, there was like loads of cheese and wine and bread. Very fresh market on a Saturday morning, kind of thing, like a farmer's market. Very, very cute. We walked to Nash Market, which is a really, really famous market. Loads of fresh produce, loads and loads of stalls, lots of people, very busy. Also one thing about Vienna is everyone was starting to drink at like 10am in the morning, very very early. But there was also lots of restaurants, cute little cafes mixed in with all the fresh produce so definitely somewhere to visit. We found this family owned breakfast spot called Nenny which was in the market and Look at the size of those sausages, the shakshika was amazing, they give you a basket full of pita bread, sensational. We then went for our a stroll around Belvedere Palace grounds, it was busy, it was free to come into, have a little wander around. The whole area is stunning. It was a scorcher of a day, but just look at that view, it was insane. There was also a wedding taking place at the top, which, beautiful location. And this is the Vienna State Opera House, which is somewhere we didn't go into, but you can, you can pay a little fee and have like a tour. This is Cafe Satcher, a very famous cafe in Vienna. It's also part of a hotel Satcher where all the rich and famous stay. A lot of fancy cars were showing up with a lot of important people. And there was a queue, so expect to queue. It was very hard to queue out in sunshine, but the queue does go down very, very quick. This is the interior. It's very, very old, very, very classic. And these were the old style menu, so you can hold it with one hand your little wooden palette and flick through the menu at ease. And this is what the cafe is most famous for, the Sasha Tort chocolate cake and it was divine.
actually a parliament building. So this is the Hofburg Vienna. Uh, we arrived to find this food court and like drink festival going on. There was loads of different stalls, lots of different vendors, people drinking, people eating, enjoying the sunshine. Cause it was a scorcher, as I did say. And just very good vibes. Just not what you'd expect at a parliament building, but very fun, very, very nice. And somewhere definitely to come see because the building is stunning. I would probably recommend ordering one schnitzel between two because it comes with like two bits of chicken plus rice plus veg plus a little side of onions like the portion size is extreme and if you order the schnitzel by itself you same thing you get two big bits of chicken This is the bone average gelato. This is Das Coffee House. This is St. Stephen's Cathedral. It's very amongst it, very among the shops and in the city centre. These are traditional Austrian pancakes and unbelievable, I would go back and eat these every morning for breakfast. This is something really, really cool to come and see. It's a lot of coloured buildings, there's some gift shops, touristy kind of shops, but it's just really, really cool architecture to come and have a look at. It's the 100 Wasser House and just really, really cool to kind of venture out into the side streets and find this crazy style building. before we left we had to have one of the famous hot dogs which is really really clever they put the hot dog in a baguette with no opening at the bottom mm -hmm. 